The Neapolitan Mastiff is an Italian breed of dogs, also known as Mastino, Mastino Neapolitano, or just Neo. These dogs are known for their huge size and profoundly wrinkled fur. Their profuse hanging wrinkles and folds and pendulous lips make Mastinos look like a marzipan mastiff that have been out in the sun for too long. And yet, despite their intimidating exterior, the breed's inner dignity and nobility can only be described as beautiful. However, these guys are not a perfect companion for everyone. Find out why as we start our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Neapolitan Mastiff. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Mastino owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History If Mastinos look like strange visitors from antiquity, it's because that's exactly what they are. It is believed that mastiff like working and guard dogs emerged in Tibet back in 3000 BCE during the beginning of the Bronze Age. Another theory suggests that the breed might go back as far as 700 BCE with artifacts from several ancient civilizations depicting Mastino-like canines. They're also thought to have been used in the arenas and also as ferocious dogs of war. Selection of the breed began in 1947 by Piero Scanziani, who had seen one of these guys at an exhibition in Naples in 1946. It's said that when working on the states of Naples, Mastinos instinctively knew the boundaries they were entrusted to protect, where these giants gained the reputation of being ferocious guard dogs. By the early 1970s, the breed was well known in the other European countries as well as in the United States, but the American Kennel Club recognized the breed only in 2004. Number 2. Their Unique Appearance the essence of the Neapolitans is their bestial appearance, astounding head, and imposing size and attitude. Mastinos have loose skin over their entire body and deep, abundant wrinkles on their massive head. Their facial muscles fold in such a way that it forms a wrinkle from the outer corner of their eyes to their heavy dewlap and from their lower eyelids to the outside of their lips. Their colossal frame has a distinctly rectangular silhouette and leaves the overall impression of great strength. Due to their massive structure, their characteristic movement is rolling and lumbering, but not elegant or showy. Number 3. They are Great Guard Dogs This breed is the epitome of a guard dog, having been bred to use as a family guardian. Mastinos are known for their unconditional love for their families and are extremely wary of strangers as well. Their scary-looking physique and intimidating scare helps to ward off intruders and strangers. These guys are always alert and aware, even when it looks like they're relaxing. If you're not at home, they simply won't let anyone onto your property. And who in the world is really gonna argue with them, right? But when you welcome someone into your home in your Neo's presence, chances are they'll accept that person, although they'll probably remain aloof in the beginning. Well, all in all, it can be said that these dogs will fiercely protect your home from an intruder. They don't seek out the fight, but we can assure you, they can certainly win one without lifting a paw. Number 4. They're the Gentle Giants While their appearance is unnerving, you've got to remember, their looks are often deceiving. These massive dogs are probably the most affectionate 200-pound lap dogs ever. They're protective, yes, but Mastinos only turn protective when they sense danger. Otherwise, they're even-tempered dogs and are quite affectionate. This is why Mastinos are famously known as the Gentle Giants. They often tend to love one person more than anybody else. They really act like that person's shadow, and this can sometimes result in separation anxiety too. However, you gotta keep one thing in mind. These are alpha dogs, and so it is a must that you develop a relationship of mutual respect, trust, and love. Number 5. They're highly territorial. Neapolitan Mastiffs bond really closely to their people, and so they may not like the intrusion of anyone else into the family circle. This is why if you bring someone into your house, make sure you watch your dog's reaction closely before they go about biting that someone. Their possessiveness also extends beyond people to anything within their territory. This is also the reason why your Mastino may not mix properly with other dogs, particularly the dominating types. Luckily, this can be fixed if the dog is trained to socialize at a young age. Number 6. 
They can be cat's potatoes. Neapolitan Mastiff puppies are generally energetic and playful, but as they mature into adulthood, they turn into sleepy adults. Their energy level drops radically and you will constantly find your Mastino lounging around the home or yard. Many Mastiff parents are often heard saying that these dogs can be found active for 2 hours and then they'll sleep for the next 22 hours. If they don't get the proper exercise, there is a high chance of Mastinos turning obese. Number 7. Early training is extremely important. You gotta start training your Mastino as soon as you bring them home when they're still a puppy. These dogs must be taught manners to ensure that they grow to be disciplined. Think of it this way. If you don't want your Neo on the furniture when they weigh 200 pounds, don't let them on it when they only weigh 20 pounds. For this, you can enroll them in puppy kindergarten and regular obedience classes. You can also provide them with early socialization trainings to accustom them around other dogs and people. It is also always a good idea to take your canine to parks, outdoor shopping malls, and other places where they can learn to meet new people. Neapolitan Mastiffs do not respond well to negative reinforcements or punishment, so make sure you treat your pup with lots of love and treats to reward any good behavior during training. Number 8. They have complex exercise needs. One of the hardest parts of owning this dog is figuring out their complex exercise needs. You gotta understand the breed's physical limitations and exercise your pup in a controlled manner. For example, their joints can be easily damaged because they have big bones. So to prevent this, you must limit your puppy's running and jumping activity and make sure they don't climb upstairs too quickly. With this, their bones and joints won't undergo too much stress. You can also take your Mastino out for short periods of free running and play and short walks while still putting them on a leash. They're also sensitive to heat and humidity, so you gotta make sure you always schedule walks for cool mornings and evenings. And while on the walk, be sure that they always get plenty of fresh water and a cool place to rest. Number 9. They're not for novice owners. If you have never owned a dog before, this breed is definitely not for you. Neapolitan Mastiffs are headstrong, so they need a firm and confident trainer. Of course, there are also a few problems that come along when you own such a big dog. These giants may not realize their own size or power, consequentially pushing people or other children and pets around. Even when it comes to their care, the task is daunting. It will feel like a challenge to keep them clean as they're enormous, muscular, and wrinkly. These dogs also drool a lot after eating or drinking or even when they're nervous. And what's more, they're also notorious for passing gas. All in all, the breed has many good qualities but they're not the easiest dogs to live with. If you want the calm, confident dog that is the Neo at their best, be prepared to put in plenty of effort training and socializing them once you bring one of these guys home. Number 10. They are high maintenance dogs. An average Neapolitan Mastiff is pretty pricey at around $2,600. What hurts more though is when you think about the cost involved with their maintenance and care. The grooming cost is not so bad and thankfully despite their large size, there are not too many health concerns to worry about with this breed. However, food is definitely a concern. The breed generally requires about 4-6 to six cups of good quality dry dog food each day given in two meals. This amount will vary. However, it's based upon your Neo's activity level and age. There are also other things that become more complicated with a bigger dog like training and vet visits. With the Neapolitan Mastiff, training can easily become one of your biggest expenses, as you're gonna need a professional trainer for this big lug. Well, if you're someone who does not mind spending time, money and effort for your furry best friend, the cost probably won't affect your decision to own a Mastino at all. Alright folks, that brings us to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Neapolitan Mastiff. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already have a Mastino as a part of your family, let us know about them in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts and different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.